Michael Valkanis, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for this exclusive AJN interview. So I hope I'll tell a Vivi's a club with a rich history and a very passionate fan base. Uh, what attracted you to the opportunity and what do you hope to achieve at the club? Thanks, Marina. Yeah, really looking forward to the challenges ahead. I'm in this uh, beautiful city and a big club, Hopwell Tel Aviv, and uh, yeah, I'm, I can't wait to get started. It's time to build, rebuild, and it's time to restart. And with the new uh, ownership and investors, that, that's what they're looking at doing in the next uh, three to five years, and that is to, to put strong foundations in. And then uh, obviously implement a style of football. We want to create an identity that, that's going to connect with our energetic so high in energy supporters instantly i saw the 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 supporter base was absolutely huge and the club was so successful in the past i believe in attacking football and i'm attacking by nature and i'll be very proactive in whatever i do in life so i want my teams to look like that to look proactive that's how we want hub world to be as well to be an attacking team that that goes to win now, having coached in various countries, including Australia, the Netherlands, Greece and Belgium, how do you think your international experience will contribute to the role? You know what you realise over time, Marina, is that it's it's not just about football. You're actually just, you're dealing with people, creating those relationships that's going to, you know, let them follow that vision that you've got or where you want to go and that yeah. they're going to make that happen. What I do like about this place at the moment is that everyone is ready for change. Everyone is is looking to improve things everyone is looking to to work a lot harder and and follow a vision that's going to make this club successful um, in the future so how do you think you'll find the process of adapting into obviously a new country a new culture i never would have thought 10 years ago that i'm going to go to israel yeah. um, but here i am now and it, it offers a great opportunity at a, at a really nice club but also in what is a uh, and what I can see, a beautiful country that I'm sure that I'm going to get to enjoy over the course of this time of coaching. When I went down the strip towards where we were going to the hotel to have our meetings yesterday and it was along the water, I felt I honestly felt like I was down in St Kilda Beach, Ackland <laughs> Street, and parks for kids to be playing and a lot of families sitting in, in, in areas and cooking their barbecues and there was music on and you could smell the meat being cooked. What a vibe. Yeah, you know, I, I felt like a little bit at home. What was dinner last night? Oh, <laughs> it was just a, <laughs> just a mix of salads and some... Uh, falafel? Did you get on the falafel? And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. a little bit of hummus. Language yeah. barrier. Yeah, all I know at the moment is shalom, so I've got a little bit more than that. Michael, thank you for taking the time to speak to me. On behalf of the AJ, and we wish you every success in your future coaching endeavours. Thank you for speaking to me. Thanks for the opportunity to speak and... Yalla hapoel.